If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Sulacaga Community Playhouse, a secret garden, our topic this morning. And uh, we are joined by uh, uh, Lauren Seaborn and also uh, Joseph McDonald. Good morning to both of y'all. Good morning. morning. Good to have you with us today. And uh, let's talk about, Lauren, first uh, your role in the secret garden. Well, I play Mary. Um, she's around the age of 10, 11, and She's very bratty in the beginning. She's not very nice to anybody she meets. That doesn't describe you in real life, though, does it? <laughs> I <No>. hope not. <laughs> but, and she just, she, everything that she looks at, she turns her nose up at. Mm -hmm. She absolutely hates it. But as you go on through the movie, or the play, as in this case, she starts to improve, and she improves with her attitude in the way she sees things. Mm -hmm. Everything just becomes more brighter for her. Okay, Joseph, what about you? Uh, Dickon is the life on the moor, the one that just has the magic, as it's called in the play, mm -hmm. just kind of like a code word for a miracle. Mm -hmm. And then just brings magic to all the characters. Mary shares it with Colin, and Colin shares it with Archibald, actually Ben, and then all of them share it with Archibald. And eventually, I'm pretty sure, off the play, he'll share it with Pitcher, and everything comes back to life. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about you guys' roles uh, with Silicon Community Playhouse. Uh, how many of these shows have you been in? Um, well, it started with Tarzan, the stage musical. Um, Patrick McDonald was our director for that one. And then the next one I was in was The Miracle Worker. Uh, I played Martha. I can't remember the director for that one. And then the third one I was in was, I think, Aladdin Jr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I played narrator, too, in that one. And then the fourth one I was in was Tom Sawyer, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Um, that was, I played Becky Thatcher in that one. And my fifth play was Alice in the Wonderland. And I played How the White How were you Rabbit. when you started? Oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, you're nine? a veteran, that is for sure. <laughs> yeah, nine maybe. Yeah. Okay. And I guess that's just in this one after yeah. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. So, what, what about you? How many shows you been in? Well, uh, first one was The Little Mermaid Junior, then The Golden Age of Radio Readers Theater, then Tarzan, then The Miracle Worker, Aladdin, I think this one. There's like one more. I'm pretty sure that's all the major yeah. ones. Mm. Well, now when when did y'all start working uh, on this particular uh, playhouse drama, the the Secret Garden? When when did y'all start working on that? February maybe. Mm -hmm. February. Yeah, February okay. about yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Now uh, this is coming up April fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Four public uh, performances, The Secret Garden, and uh, uh, I guess as you draw closer, you get more and more excited about it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Now, how how were the roles defined? Uh, how were people selected? Uh, and and uh, Lauren, we'll begin with you. How were people's uh, roles selected for this particular play? Well, you have a sheet that you're graded on. You get judged on your. Um, What's it called? <laughs> Pronunciation. Mm -hmm. and oh, I would do good in that, I'm telling you. <laughs> no. And you also get judged on, I'm trying to remember out the word, it's where you speak loud. What's it called? Uh, projection. Yeah, there you go. Projection. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> projection. You get judged on your movements when it's necessary. And you get judged on a couple more stuff, but you also get judged on how you can listen. Mm hmm. Um, if you listen well, if you can like follow directions awfully quickly, if you get a note, you can stick with that note, and I think that's pretty much what you're judged on, yeah. and find out who gets the Joseph, role like, two days after. When did it become apparent to you that, of course you've been in several of these, but when did it become apparent to you that, hey, I'm going to plug into this, I, I, can, do, I can do this role? Uh, as Dickon? No, as overall, is just when you uh, begin to start. I'd say I probably hit the ground running on theater about Tarzan. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I decided this is 
probably one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. It's also probably the year I dropped baseball for theater. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> hey, man, you got you to gotta give up something for theater, right? Yeah. And and I, I see it's a worthy trade. <laughs> okay. Uh, April 19th and 11th, uh, uh, there's going to be three school showings as well. That'll Ooh, be at 930. Yes. And uh, what, a couple of hours on the performance as well? I think an hour yeah. and 30 minutes yeah. is what we're Somewhere going for yeah. around that. Yeah. Now, uh, this particular... Uh, uh, theater production, Silicon Community Playhouse and the Secret Garden. Uh, how many people are involved in the production itself? I would say not as many as the summer plays, because mm-hmm. the summer plays we have... About 50? Yeah, we mm-hmm. have so much in the summer plays. We usually like to do the big roles in the summer, because mm-hmm. that's when everybody's mm-hmm. free, everybody just comes in and has a good time. But I think in this play, around About 20? 16, 16, 20? Somewhere around that area. Yeah, yeah. around that. Yeah. Now, what are the age groups uh, uh, of the uh, cast? Was it? I don't know. The spring plays are usually a lot more diverse because mm-hmm. you have like kids' roles sure. and then adult roles. I think Pretty it was sh- 10 and up? Yeah. Somewhere around that? Okay. Yeah. I think 10 and up. I'm not okay. sure though. We're talking about the Secret Garden, the Silicon Community Playhouse the Theater production that's coming here to town, uh, and it will be. Uh, uh, four performances public, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And uh, what what's the time on these? Uh, I know we got the school presentations at nine thirty. What time's the production? I've got it here somewhere, but maybe one's at two thirty. Okay. Yeah, it's at one's at two thirty. And they're all okay. like six or seven. Yeah, six thirty around that. Yeah. Time. Uh, and uh, do we know where we can get tickets and stuff? Any idea? Uh, on that? You can get them at the Silicaga Chamber of Commerce, okay. the Mexi VZ Senior Center, yeah. uh, scplayhouse.com, or you can call two five six. Three six nine three zero zero three. Well, there's plenty of opportunities for tickets for these performances. A secret garden, and uh, this is a literary classic and uh, a Thomas W. Olson stage adaption of uh, Francis Hodgson's uh, Burnett's The Secret Garden. And uh, uh, this particular performance uh, is it one of your favorites? I'd say so. Yeah. It's definitely one of the more get into your character ones because mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. how, how do you how do you learn uh, uh, learn fit the role uh, of the, and adapt to the role that you're going to be playing well you really got to know your character because mm-hmm. our goal is not to just act the character you got to be the character um, a good way to stay in character for us when we're backstage getting ready to go back on is to stay in our character talk to other people mm-hmm. like we're talking Getting on stage, backstage, it's it just surprisingly it helps. It helps really well. And you're actually just taking on the role, right? Yes. Yeah. But um, yeah, a main part of this is just you got to practice so much. It's not just going to take the practices, rehearsals that we have. You're going to have to practice mm-hmm. at home, or else you will never really get to know your character that mm-hmm. well as much as we would like to know our character. Joseph, yeah. the rehearsals itself, uh, a lot of hours gone into this, I'm sure, getting ready for it. Yes, the earlier rehearsals, we ran to about, you know, 8, 8 8.30, that area. Now we're going to 9, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we're getting closer to the show and everything gets more hectic. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's probably the proper word for it. Yeah. Now, who are some of the adults uh, that are involved in this as far as behind the scenes, maybe? Well, Jean, we have Gina Jackson. She is our stage manager, um, our stage crew. And we have Patrick McDonald, which is our director. We have Lakeisha Crocker, which is our assistant director. And Janie Giddens, she is our costume director. Rachel, I don't know her last name. I McDonald. can't remember it. Huh? McDonald. Rachel. <laughs> Oh, I was talking about the other Rachel. Oh, Rachel. No, another Rachel. Don't get me confused with Rachel's. Rachel's this morning. Rachel McDonald, she is our um, house crew, something like that. No, uh, a- manager? <laughs> I don't know. Not sure. This, okay. this, uh, this dick and roll that, that uh, you're taking on, uh, you know, we talked about it a little bit, uh, but go more into depth about this character. Well, one of the big things about theater that I'm pretty sure a lot of actors don't really get is you don't have to act your character. 
they obviously know, don't just read your script, act like your character. Mm -hmm. That's not the main thing. You need to feel your character, mm -hmm. be the character. Because if you feel the character, then the audience is going to feel the character. And what do you come to theater for? To feel emotions. If the character's sad, you want the audience to be sad. If the character's happy, you want the audience to be happy. It's got, like, you get the little happy symbol and then the sad symbol mm -hmm. for theater. Wow. Uh, Lauren Seaborn, yes. uh, our guest this morning, along with Joseph McDonald, they are part of the cast of The Secret Garden, Sylacauga Community Playhouse presentation, and it's going to take place uh, here in Sylacauga, and the uh, uh, performances is April 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. Uh, that's the four public performances, and uh, is it it, it BB Comer? Is that where is that? Where is it going to be held at? Uh, BB Comer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Beautiful, Comer beautiful uh, facility there mm -hmm. to showcase your talent, and uh, three school showings will be April 9th, tenth, and eleventh. That's at nine thirty. And the performance time is about two hours, so uh, be a part of that. You can get tickets, and uh, uh, also want to uh, thank uh, NEMAC and Resolute Forest Products and Tyler County Commission and the Silicon Arts Council for helping to underwrite the school performances. And tickets are available at just, what, five bucks each or something like that? Is that right? Um, uh, about it's, $10. It's a student <laughs> perform a student, uh, uh, performance is five dollars each, I think it is. And so students are six. I ha my school's going to it, and we got the flyers like I don't know a couple days ago. Yeah. And on it, it's at six. So. Okay. Public right. tickets are about ten dollars. Okay, right. Right. sounds yeah. good. And a lot of people will be uh, a part of that. Uh, and uh, you can get your tickets at Sylacauga Chamber of Commerce, the Maxi uh, Vizia Senior Center, and uh, you can go online at SilicaSCPlayhouse.com. And uh, get your tickets today for this uh, fabulous presentation. Uh, and tickets are limited per show. And uh, I guess the closer you get, the the more excited you get. Maybe yeah. a little yeah. nervous, a little sweaty palms. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, as we kind of close uh, this portion of uh, the interview session this morning, the Secret Garden. Uh, where do you see your career going, Joseph? In in theater presentations? Well, I want to just, I'm not sure about what college I'm going to go to. I know I'm going to take at least, you know, two years at CAC, then I'm going to have to go off to a university, but not sure where, but I definitely want to go into acting and maybe a little bit of engineering because that's always a good skill to have. Lauren? Um, definitely acting. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm not really sure about this, but I learned how to weld when I was at my grandfather's, mm -hmm. and I guess it's not really a girly job, but it pays good money. So hey, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is your is your family's plugged into this uh, type uh, theater produ productions as um, well? Yes, we. My parents work at where we are holding it, so they always pitch in to unlock the auditorium doors, unlock the gate so we can get in. They get to bring you to these early interview <laughs> sessions too, <Yeah>. right? <laughs> and normally my brother, um, he's the one that welcomes everybody in. What's it, what are those called? Usher. Ushers, yes, he's an uh, usher. All right. And speaking of uh, families and getting families involved in it, yours certainly is, right? Yes, we've been uh, quite involved. <laughs> but Who in your family is plugged into this? Who's not plugged into it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's not? <laughs> yeah, it'd be easier probably to ask. Immediate family? None. <laughs> oh, I got you. My little brother Nathan, he's done Aladdin. My brother Sean certainly is. He's the sound and lighting director. Mm -hmm. My sister Rachel, Rachel McDonald, is the hair and makeup mm -hmm. director. Dad's the director. I, my mom is the marketing director. And I'm just an actor. Yeah, you're just, you're down. Let's see, where you, here you are down here. Yeah, the sound could come a reverb on <laughs> well, me. Um, <laughs> The behind the scenes, uh, the stage hands, and and, and, yeah. and people like that, they're the one really make a difference as well, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We could not do this just on our own. We have, um, there's going to be a Robin in it. We're going to have a real life bunny in it, which I'm excited about. Um, because yes. I love bunnies, but. Um, they're cute. And yes, we need people just help out backstage with our props. Sometimes we have to have props popping out backstage. Like mm -hmm. we'll have a robin that will need to be controlled backstage. And but yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Joseph, for every cast member, there's probably about two crew members that have worked. Mm -hmm. Like 
between set building and sound and backstage, taking care of props and all this stuff, there's probably more crew than there are actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do y'all kind of bounce stuff off of one another? Uh, maybe maybe uh, keep things a little light sometimes when things are a little tense at times? Someone forgets their line, definitely. <laughs> yeah. We have, the main part in this is to know a character. You don't just want to know your character yourself. you got to know the other characters because hmm. if they forget a line, you have to make it seem like they didn't forget a line. You have to pitch in and know what the character is hmm. thinking and fill in that line for them. Yeah. Uh, I do this sometimes, being in, in broadcasting and news and stuff like that. I'll know the story. I'll know how I want to present it. But something sometimes happens in my brain and I just get a brain freeze or something. That ever happened to y'all? Yes, sir. A few times. Yeah, yeah. How do you how do you overcome that? Just keep pushing on? Yes. <laughs> That's the best way to handle it in the playhouse. You just gotta Can really have said it better myself. Improvisation. Yeah, you just gotta <laughs> keep on going on with the show. Yeah, yeah. And the audience doesn't have a script. I was about script. to say they they don't they have don't any know idea. If we messed up or not. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I've messed up and people cheered for it, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's to get me off the set or not, but anyway. <laughs> thank you both for coming this morning. I'm so excited about having Lauren Seaborn and Joseph McDonald, who are uh, playing uh, key uh, characters in The Secret Garden, a Silicon Community Playhouse presentation. And uh, again, you can get your tickets uh, for the event, uh, the four public performances, April 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th over at beautiful B.B. Comer High School Auditorium, three school sessions, uh, is uh, April 9th, 10th, and 11th. That's at 9.30. And uh, if you need more information, uh, can they go on the website or something and find out more about yes, it? Yes, they can. And we also uh, have tickets at the door. Okay. At the door. So. All right. Now, that website, again, is what? scplayhouse.com. Okay. All right. Uh, as you grow older, what, what grade are you in? Uh, 10th, my best estimate. Okay. You're homeschool, right? <laughs> homeschooled, so it's very hard to tell. <laughs> okay. All right. So what grade are you in? Six. Okay. And you're at Nichols Lawson? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, how would you encourage parents and grandparents who are watching this show this morning all across the state of Alabama, mm -hmm. how would you encourage them to get their kids or encourage their kids to become involved in, in theater? Well, I guess I can tell my story, but... I was in gymnastics, and I never really had a thing for Playhouse. I never really thought that I would enjoy it. Um, and But my friend, Megan Smith, she introduced me to it, and I was like, yeah, I guess I'll try it out. And you never really know what you're going to fall in love with or until you try it. Mm -hmm. And I tried it, and I absolutely loved it. And I haven't missed a play since. Yeah. So, well, I think the playhouse and theater just really brings people out. Like, see, a little shy little people who talk in a whisper come into big people. I know that's how I was before I got introduced to theater. Mm -hmm. Just kind of very quiet, didn't talk much, and then yeah. theater really just brought me out. That's fantastic. Uh, the presentation uh, show dates uh, are going to be Thursday, April 4th, 7 o'clock, Friday, April 5th, 7 o'clock, and then Saturday, matinee at uh, 2.30 on April the 6th, and then uh, April the 6th at 7 o'clock, too. There's two shows on Saturday and uh, one show on Sunday afternoon at 2.30, April 4th through the 7th over at the B.B. Comer High School Auditorium uh, in Sylacauga. Advanced tickets 10, 12 at the door. And uh, you can get your tickets uh, by calling. Here's a telephone number for you to call, too, 256-369-3003. If all that's failed, you can call the telephone number there. Thank you uh, both for joining us this morning and uh, look forward Thank to you. the Secret Garden. You guys roll in it and all the other uh, kids that are uh, plugged into it and adults as well. Thank you for coming this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Got more daybreak just ahead. Don't go away.